In this video, we will be using implicit differentiation to find the derivative of a logarithmic function. Our problem is use implicit differentiation to find dy dx. And our function is 4xy plus ln x squared y plus 7. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is rewrite this term, the logarithm term, uh, using our properties of logarithms and expand this. So the first thing I see is the multiplication of two factors in the argument. So I can write that as the sum of two separate logarithms. And I'll just copy this for right now. So I'll have the ln of x squared plus the ln of y. All right, then I'm going to use the property of logarithms that allows me to take this exponent out in front of my logarithm. So I have 4xy plus 2 ln x plus ln y equals 7. To do this, we have to use the product rule here. So um, I'm going to leave the first factor alone and multiply that by the derivative of the second factor, which is 1 dy, and then leave the second factor alone and multiply that by the derivative of the first factor. Right. Then the derivative of this term will have uh, the derivative of ln x is 1 over x. So we'll have 2 over x dx. And then the derivative of ln y is 1 over y. So we'll have 1 over y dy. And on the right side, the derivative of a constant is 0. Now we're asked to find dy dx, so let me get all my dy terms. We'll put those on the left, or rather leave those on the left. And the dx terms we'll put on the right side. So this one is 4x dy and then plus 1 over y dy. And then my other two terms I'll put over on the right side. So this is a negative 4y dx, and then minus 2 over x dx. Right. Let's factor. So we have 4x plus 1 over y, and that's with dy factored out. And on the right side, I have a negative 4y minus 2 over x, and then the dx is factored out. Divide both sides by dx, and then divide by 4x plus 1 over y. So these cancel, these cancel, and I have 
dy dx equals a negative 4y minus 2 over x in the numerator, and then 4x plus 1 over y in the denominator. Now we need to simplify this complex fraction, and I'm going to do so by multiplying numerator and denominator by xy. So I have dy dx equals, now I will distribute xy into this term and uh, nothing's going to cancel. So I have negative 4xy uh, squared. When I distribute xy into this term, my x's cancel and I have minus 2y. Now in the bottom, um, when I distribute xy to this term, nothing's canceling, so I have 4x squared y. And then when I distribute this xy into this term, my y's cancel, and I have plus x. 